When you first look at the Deep Robotics Linux robot dog, it's immediately clear that this is no ordinary piece of technology. It's compact, agile, and designed for the modern day robot dog. Its wheel leg hybrid motion system sets it apart from the competition in the market, enabling it to traverse a variety of challenging terrains with remarkable ease. It is said to cost roughly around 17,999 US dollars. As you hit that subscribe button, let me take you through some of its crazy features that sets it apart. Starting with the dimensions, this robot, while standing it measures 0.8 meters tall, 0.5 meters wide, and 0.6 meters deep, roughly 2.62 by 1.64 by 1.97 feet. It has a relatively small footprint, which allows it to maneuver in tight spaces with precision. It weighs 30 kilograms, which is about 66 pounds, meaning it won't be easy for a normal person to carry it around. But why bother carrying it when it can ride itself? One of the standout features of the Linux is its impressive speed that you can see from the video. With a maximum velocity of five meters per second, approximately 11.2 miles per hour, it's built for quick movements across various terrains. But this speed, of course, is two times slow than that of Usain Bolt, but a little bit faster than the guy who competed against Noah Lyles in the Mr. Beast video. Luckily, the robot can also climb platforms as high as 80 centimeters, about 31.5 inches, and navigate continuous steps up to 22 centimeters, or 8.66 inches in height. These capabilities make it a versatile performer, capable of handling environments that would challenge less advanced robotic systems, like Spot of BD. In terms of endurance, the Linux is powered by a dual battery system that supports hot swapping. This allows for continuous operation without interruptions. And one more thing, it also supports fast charging, which I feel like it's a feature that every robot should come with. When it is fully charged, it boasts a runtime of up to three hours and can cover a distance of 15 kilometers. The only issue is that Deep Robotics does note that these parameters are based on lab data and may vary in real world conditions, which shows limited field testing as of now. When it comes to perception, they went the Tesla way by equipping the robot with a wide angle 1080p camera, providing high resolution video and image capture. This sensor system is essential for navigation, object detection, and environmental analysis, enabling the robot to perform its tasks effectively. It doesn't include LiDAR, which Elon Musk claims is expensive. The camera offers a cost-effective solution for visual perception. This is the reason why Deep Robotics has managed to keep the Linux affordable while still delivering reliable performance, but not on the same level in performance as Unitree if you have watched that comparison video. Another key feature is that Linux comes with an IP54 protection rating. This means it's protected against limited dust ingress and water splashes from any direction. While not as robust as higher ratings like IP67, it's sufficient for most indoor and light outdoor applications, ensuring the robot can operate in a variety of conditions. The robot's user-friendly design is further enhanced by features like intelligent over-the-air OTA updates, app support, a handheld remote control, Wi-Fi and GPS functionality. These tools make it easy to operate and integrate the Linux into various workflows. In terms of payload, the Linux can carry up to 12 kilograms or 26.45 pounds, which is modest compared to some high-end robotic systems, but sufficient for many industrial and research applications. It's clear that the Linux is designed for adaptability and efficiency rather than brute strength, making it a practical choice for tasks that don't require heavy lifting. When it comes to durability and maintenance, the Linux includes a one-year warranty, providing users with peace of mind. Its robust construction and high-performance design make it a reliable partner for a range of applications, from industrial inspections to research and development projects.